Brothers and sisters, as we have heard uh, the scriptures regarding industry, now we take a few moments to meditate upon uh, those scriptures and what they have to say to us. Our relationship, just as our relationship with the earth itself is is a mixed thing. There's so much beauty still evidence and evidenced in this world, but yet also it is very broken. So too our relationship with work and industry is a mixed thing. Right from uh, the very beginning we had work, Adam and Eve, there, you could argue pretty safely that their first job was gardening or uh, horticulture or agriculture. Certainly it was a very important thing, but very shortly thereafter, uh, when, when Adam and Eve fall into sin and as people multiply upon the earth, we see, uh, we see the industry turns into something worse, something where we try and take the place of God as the people did during the, the Tower of Babel incident. We see that it is a kind of idolatry, that if we can, we can achieve by industry what God does in his creational power, then we can somehow take over. Or later on, when we, when we look at the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, or we look at the story of how people behave in Egypt, we see hedonism and slavery. We see that industry is used to oppress people. We see that it is used to make the rich richer and the poor poorer often. Yet as we read in, in Proverbs and in Ecclesiastes, there is good in work too. It was created for us. We were not meant to sit twiddling our thumbs all day. We were meant to work. It is not good for us to be lazy. It is a gift of God, as Solomon recognizes in Ecclesiastes. And as we move into, into Matthew, into the New Testament, we see that Jesus, Jesus finally comes and he resists the devil's temptation to use industry to replace God. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Jesus knows that God is the source of all that is good, and that industry cannot replace God, and that industry should not be used to oppress or put down But as we move into Acts, we see that industry is still broken. We see riots in cities where industry is, is relied upon instead of the holiness of God, the righteousness of God. And we see the apostles trying to bring the good news of Jesus Christ to these people who are caught up in their idolatrous industry. And someday there will be a good and perfect industry in which we work and do what is planned for us to do, what is set aside for us to do, and we glorify God through it all. But until that day, we pray for industry. Brothers and sisters, let us pray.